Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing the Turbo Smart boost gauge. Um, we're going to do this in two parts. First part being the mechanical side or the, the side that basically shows you your boost. Um, the second part of the video will be all about the electrical side, so how I'm going to wire in the electronics. Because you don't necessarily need this, this is simply a light bulb to illuminate it. Um, it's all done by mechanical, so it's all done by that boost nipple there. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna do that first. Um, my plan is to have it basically mounted in the corner here on a little holder um, So I need to find a way of running the hose from here Into my underneath my bonnet and stuff So I'm gonna have a look for that now and I'll let you guys know once I've got an idea Hey guys, I'm just gonna update you where I am. Um, that is a coat hanger so oh, Where to start? Like I said, this is all the mechanical stage. I'm planning on like plugging it into the electronics here, but this is all mechanical. So, inside, underneath, so there's your pedals. You want to basically go up and keep feeling your way past this point because basically against here is like a flap. It'll be a flap in your firewall. Not, I'm not talking about engine. I'm talking about a flap that goes to this grommet. Let me open my door a bit. So, there's a grommet in there. Just pop that out, same as like this grommet. Just pop that grommet out. And like I said, there's a flap basically around here-ish. And it just, it flaps towards you like this. So just feel around the panel, you'll feel it. You've proper got to get your arm up and inside. Once you're inside, flap it open. Pass your tubing from here down into here and you'll be able to feel it and once you feel it obviously just pull it through and you'll pop out down here somewhere basically then what i've done is i fed it from down here up past my obd port and then i pop this out because here i've passed it through into my weather strip just pull this off so as you can see it passes through into here um, and then I'm going to run it up here and then because I'm having it mounted here It would just have a tiny bit of tubing showing but because the weather strip Just needs to be tight to the metal It's gonna work. Anyway, I'll put that back on properly in a minute. Second stage we're getting it to your actual um, Engine bay, so I've used a long coat hanger made it straight attached a bit of tape to it and then Poked it through to here. So now I'm going to run it from here. I'm going to run it down through here. And basically, I'm going to feed off of this wire. So this is my um, blow off valve from Turbo Smart. Um, you may have seen my, me install that on another video. But yeah, basically, this is the wire I'm going to hold it off. Um, so I'm just going to snip this in half, use the T connector and do that. But basically, I need to get that to here in not much of like, I haven't got much to play with. But anyway, so cut hanger through that gap down there. You can see where it's going into that little grommet. And what I will do is with this grommet here, this is the grommet, I'm just going to drill a little hole just big enough so it fits um, the pipe through. I should have done that first really, shouldn't I? Crap. But anyway, <laughs> long story short, now you're going to feed it all back through again. Back through this. Oh, I can't be asked to do that actually. <laughs> Anyway, I'll figure something out, but yeah, so it's gonna go all the way through there, and we're all good. Okay, let's just show you again. Um, so here's the boost gauge attached to the wire now. So like I said, I'm gonna have it sitting in a holder about there. Um, it runs down here, through there. Can you see that? Uh, oh, there you go, you can actually see it. So it goes through there. I'm going to try and get you a view here, but you might not be able to see it. Basically up there somewhere, I can't see the camera right now, but up there somewhere is a hose. Just follow it with your eyes. Hopefully you can see something up there. And then, let's just turn off a flash. And like I said, it goes down the side of my bonnet. Round here, now I'm missing the bonnet hinge itself, so I'm not coming through there anymore. I'm going down the bottom. There's a hole down here, and then it's going to feed round under there. 
over to here. So I'm just going to snip this pipe in half. I've got enough here to play with, so I can always pull it up and reattach it if it goes wrong. But yeah, and then I'm going to attach it there, and we're going to try it. Okay, guys, another update. Um, so, like I said, I've run the pipe to there. I've now taken the plunge. I have cut the thing, so I'm going to have a cable tie around there. Cable tie around there. I've pushed them on as much as I can. I'll probably push them a tiny bit further. But yeah, cable tie, cable tie to make sure they don't come out. I'm just heating up a bit of boiling water to basically make this a bit more bendy, but that's got to go onto there. Make sure you have the pill end, so with that end on here. Um, so once that's done, we're going to start her up and see if she works. If not, I hate my life. Okay, I'm going to start up and see if it works. <laughs> No engine lights. Boost gauge. Boost gauge is sitting at zero. <gasps> it might be working. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm too scared to do it here. <laughs> so, we're going to cable tie it off um, and then drive down the road and see if we get boost. Okay guys, welcome back. So we're on the road now. Um, we'll get started in two seconds. I've currently got my camera mounted to my wheel. Um, I'm just going to give it a little pull down here. Obviously I'm going to have to hold this with one hand because I haven't got the mount yet. And I've kind of jumped the gun with um, putting it in. But anyway, we're looking for a space. Once I've found a space, we will pull back out again. Cool, got the space. Here we go. could see the boost working absolutely fine so it looks like we're all good um, I'll give it one more little pull so you can see it but yeah I'm happy um, I'm gonna stop the video there because obviously I'm driving with this thing attached to my wheel at the minute um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that obviously stay tuned for part two of um, Oh, that's quite a good kilo camera angle, isn't it? Um, stay tuned for part two, uh, where we will do the wiring, and I'll show you the mount as well. The wiring's a little bit more complicated, but hopefully we can kind of come to a an understanding of it. Um, I just need to get a voltmeter from work and some connectors and stuff, um, but it should be pretty simple to do. But anyway, I'll leave you guys be. Thank you for watching. Oh my God, you've fallen off. And I'll see you next time okay guys the outro was a little bit rubbish the last one I recorded basically I had it mounted where my hand is now you can barely see but I had it mounted here looking at my boost gauge that's currently was sellotape but it's here I, you can't see that I'm running out of battery on my phone so I can't like put the flash on but anyway guys thank you for watching like I said this is part one the mechanical side of it um, part two will be coming up very very shortly um, and that will include the um, electrical side um, which like I said before I'm hoping to have it wired in you can't even see my finger but into here um, so where your lights basically wired in but anyway hope you guys enjoyed that I will get a mount for here um, and it'll all come together I promise but this is part one look out for part two remember to like favorite subscribe and I'll see you next time